Okay, this is going to be an energy read with a full Celtic cross, so I hope you like the reading. If you do like it, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's not hard. And then um, thanks so very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this energy read, I like to think of it as kind of looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you go out today and what you're going to put on or what you're going to take with you. So use this as sort of a, uh, a reference for how you might deal with some issues that come up today. So it's just a perfect time right now to take a deep breath, let the air out slowly, uh, maybe take a minute to get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some water, something to have by your side that's a little soothing and uh, meditate a bit on what it is that you want to accomplish from the choices uh, you make. So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by US Game Systems. And I really love these cards and they've got an interesting story behind them too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run of the mill. Uh, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here. And it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened. David Palladini was just finishing up... Um, art school when I forget who it was someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards um, and now David Palladini just recently died this is 2021 in May and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span so uh, 17 2017 or something and then so then these were done at the beginning of his career which would have been put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s I would imagine so you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit, and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or, or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fella uh, did these right out of art school. And then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life, he went ahead and um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, and uh, they're really great. I love them. Okay, so an energy read for you today. Like I say, this is like looking out the window to see what's this day going to be like before you get started into it. I'll shuffle these up just a little bit because I've been shuffling them with them quite a bit before I started to do this reading. And then hope that some good uh, message comes through for you uh, with this uh, full Celtic cross. Let's start over here. I'm going to go one, two, three, like that, four, five and then six, and then we'll come back and get four more to finish this off with. Okay, so six cards for the first part of this full Celtic Cross energy reading. What do you need to know today? The signifier card for this is the tower, and I've got to tell you, this is not a great signifier card. So this could mean this is, could, could be a difficult day. There could be issues that come up today that really cause you uh, to uh, feel defeated, uh, to take a pause, or maybe something that you're watching or something that you're seeing seems particularly um, destructive or uncomfortable or not productive. So this is a signifier for uh, what I'm seeing out the window today, okay? The tower card. Let's see what's the challenge to that. The challenge to that is judgment. Of course it is. You know, when 
we're always going to be judged by uh, how we move about, by what we uh, do with what we're presented with in a day. I mean, even something as small as um, someone behind you in the car may think that you stopped too short for that red light that you're coming to, or, or um, may feel that you, someone in a line, may feel that you've uh, treated them uh, with some sort of indignity or something. So judgment is the caution to this terror moment. So if the day is going to be difficult and it's easy to take someone's judgment on you or uh, conversely to make judgments on others around you. So I'd say when it comes to judgment in this day, let's, before we take it to heart, let's just take a beat. If someone makes a judgment against us, let's give them a pass on that. And before we make judgments on others today, let's give them a pass on that. The basis of this reading then is the fool. You know, it's not literally a fool, but this means this is a new journey. This is a new start. It's a new day from what it was yesterday, as simple as that. But uh, so we come into this knowing that this is something fresh that we're going to experience today. Uh, by the end of the day, it'll be finished and tomorrow it'll be another start. And the past of this reading is the page of rods. You know, rods are action, motion, planning, uh, forward. And uh, so this page is uh, very meager, very mild. You know, he's just barely offering up this rod to you. He won't look you in the eye because uh, the page only brings the idea to the court. And then the court decides what they're going to do with it. You, my friends, are the court. And then the uh, sky of this reading is the Hierophant. Rules, law, uh, uh, a way of going about a thing that's considered the correct way of doing it or the accepted way of living in a situation. This could be, um, this could represent the structure around uh, your family and not necessarily your blood family, the family that you've assembled around you or, or even the rules of your work or of the situation that you find yourself in today. Well, when you walk into an establishment to make a purchase, now they are the Hierophant. You're going to obey by whatever structure that they've set into place. So the Hierophant is a goal to be aware of today. Remember, if you're coming into a day that has a little bit of uncertainty in it already, and uh, you're concerned about how you might be thought of, uh, you should understand, of course, that it's a new start and that uh, there's some sort of a plan to, to be accomplished. So let's uh, look for the guidelines as to how that can go. And then the final um, outcome for this, uh, likely, is the Six of Cups, which is kind of remembering the way things were. And we do tend to go that way. When we see something a little more difficult, we say, man, why couldn't this be like yesterday, which was such a snap? Uh, so um, Six of Cups. Uh, wanting things to be kind of the way they were in a better time and a cleaner time. That's uh, typical of what we might experience today. But let's take four more cards to finish out this uh, uh, Celtic cross. And the first one is going to be the self of the question, the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, I always like to say, is, is putting something up for public display. This is your value. This is your worth. When you step out that door today, and if it's a difficult day and people are judging you, the least you can do is show them that you have value, okay? That you haven't made uh, some rash decisions or some frivolous um, um, motions. So let's understand that we're always, the moment we're in public or we're speaking to someone, or we make ourselves known to another entity, that <coughs> that's a display of our worth. And the Three of Pentacles represents that. That's in the environment of temperance. Okay, knowing how to get to a good balance. You know, this always makes me think of, let me take a sip of a soda here I have here. This always makes me think of, um, I like to cook. And sometimes when you're gonna incorporate eggs into a recipe, Maybe um, the um, uh, maybe you have some warm milk that you're going to put some eggs in for perhaps a custard. You know that you have to temper those eggs. You have to pour them in slowly, get them incorporated with that milk so that they don't cook and become scrambled eggs instead of a base for a lovely meal. So temperance um, is always um, a good environment to be in when you're considering your perceived value to the public. The hopes and the fears for this then, justice. I really love that because if we're going to have judgment, then we may as well prepare ourselves for justice. And justice simply to me means we want things to be fair, we want things to be balanced, we want things to be real, we want things to be true. And it doesn't mean they're going to be that way. That's our hope and our fear. Okay, We want things to be uh, uh, considered as justice. And uh, if you're doing something that maybe you shouldn't be, then you can actually be a little uh, worried about the justice that may come from it. But the likely outcome of the whole thing for this energy read today is the page of cups. So at least this is telling you that whatever the situation is, you came into it with a page, with a plan or an action, 
we're going to go out of it at the end of this day with a cup of a little more compassion, maybe a couple of surprises along the way. Um, and that'll give us a nice soft landing because we're coming out of this as a page, not as a king or an emperor. We're coming out of this as a nice, uh, inconsequential almost page so that we can take a break today and get started again tomorrow. Love that reading. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.